Hey there, either holder fire from Leon. Welcome to another reaction. This time we're reacting to the amazing Digital Circus, episode three, the mystery of Mildenhall Manor. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm gonna try to keep any digs toward murder drones out of this and keep this just focused on Digital Circus. <laughs> just let you know, I because I I could have already be making some jokes and uh poking some fun at murder drones with the, cause I've heard good things about this episode that the writing and everything and even character development is way better than uh, what I myself and some of my community feel we got for murder drones, uh, especially episode eight, uh, but yeah, anyway. Oh, we're starting right off with, you're holding your breath. <laughs> I can't hold it any longer. Sure you can. We can't die from oxygen deprivation, remember? But so it's it all in your head. Like all right, we've entered she's the already blue turned. zone. I was gonna say, she's already looking like a blueberry. Hey, there's something new. Pink. Okay, we're red. getting red. Orange, oh, yellow. Orange. What, are we just getting all the colors of the rainbow? Yellow. Green. I love how you have the different, like, just from like the reactions alone to this, you can see the different, different like personalities coming through. Like Jax is the, yeah, we're we gonna, we're we getting worse. Yeah, is it gonna get worse? And then Kinger is just like, oh, fascinating. <laughs> you have Zubo who looks kind of like, mm, yeah, you're, you know, you're getting there. Ragatha is like supporting, where she's just like, okay, good, we're getting there. Gangle's more like just kind of like timid, but. Uh, like, okay, we're getting, we're, we're working on it. <laughs> Green. Whoa, blue look, cyan. Now she's turning blue. She was already blue. Went back. Why am I the one doing this? Why not one of you guys? Because we already know how to. Because something different happens with each person. For instance, Kinger really? starts glowing. Ragnar's what? hair noodles stick up. Huh? Angle's mask starts spinning. What? And Zubel turns straight. My. Zubel turns straight. Sexuality one. <laughs> I want to keep the mystery alive. What the mystery alive? Is this gonna become a thing with the fandom now, where we're gonna like all wonder what happens with Jax? And I bet you, I bet you, Goose got questions about this after this episode, unless it gets answered in this episode. In that case, never mind. Do you, the viewers, think it is? Okay, fourth wall breaking. Um, what do? We, or I in this case, think it could be. If he holds his breath, his ears kind of twist or like turn into a pretzel, like tie together or something. I feel like it would have something to do with his ears. I don't think his head would grow or like inflate. It's already inflated. Um, maybe his gloves inflate. No, I think it feels like, I feel like it would have something to do with his ears. What are you Stop pointing at? Why is everybody just Aren't they so- Okay, why would Zubal say, why are you doing that? Or like, would you stop doing- Wait, what did, what did Zubal say? Will you stop doing that? So she tells him to stop, but aren't they supposed to be like a show, like an entertainment for whoever's watching or something like that? Or that's what Kane said, right? In the pilot where they're pretty much, not a show, but like a game or something, entertainment. Why is everybody just standing around when there's adventure to be had? Because we don't feel like adventuring, Kane. Thank you. Spooky mansion has been rumored to be filled to the brim. As long as it doesn't have elder horrors, we're good. With paranormal act no, what was that frame creepy, creepy thing? Brim with that actually looks kind of cool. Also, this gives me Luigi Mansion vibes. <laughs> paranormal activity. It's up to you to solve the house. Are we going to become ghost hunters? And capture all the ghoulish ghost activity you can. And for the first time ever, you can. Did they? They definitely upgrade the textures on the characters because, like, Kane's mouth, the gums have like a texture sheen, like a sheen and texture to them. I swear, the animators must have a lot of fun with the characters in this series because uh, they're just, a especially Kane, like, you're able to do things that you. We're definitely limited on with Murder Jones. Murder Jones was 
more realistic, like gr- like grounded. Um, whereas Digital Circa is literally all digital, so they could kind of do whatever the hell they want. They can turn them into shapes. They could uh, make them. Uh, what do they call it? Clipping through items or objects. They could. Yeah. They're like they could do anything. Where's Zubal? I made this adventure really cool and uh, mature. Just for yeah, mature. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mature, I used to, why, why do I feel like if I say, is it really going to be mature, we're going to actually get mature, like, mature stuff. Them. But yeah, where is Zubal? I really want to go and take that and reverse it. You know what, screw it, I'm going to do that. Speed duration. Reverse speed. There we go. All right, let's go. Oh! I can't wait for all the children in the audience to get horrible nightmares from the monster. <laughs> what? And wait. Kane's O. Like, what turns into O? Oh. Right? That was what before? What? Wait. So even... How did Kane's change? So, O. Oh. Can't wait for all the children in the audience to get horrible nightmares from the monster. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna play that again, but I still find it weird that even Kane's works. Like it goes from what to O. How do you get O from what? Oh. You know, I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it for now. That's 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 great. The NPCs aren't gonna become self-aware in this one, right? Poor Pomni, still traumatized from gummy goo. It's okay, Pomni, so are we. How should I know? I'm not the boss. Oh, wait, yes, I am. <laughs> anyway, everybody. I don't think Kane's in, mu in as much control as he would like them to think. Spooky manor. Oh. Spooky, scary skeletons come. Cr I forgot how it goes. Oh, with the scare factor. I hope Let's go hard. Come on. I was. Re I'm really looking forward to this. I'm not expecting it to be like obviously super gory or scary, but I like. Please, you know what? Scare me more than Murder Jones did. I will love it. This adventure doesn't end. I I also said I wasn't gonna diss Murder Jones, but that's the one. Okay, that's the one I'll say. And I don't really handle jump scares that well. <laughs> uh, I'm not good with jump scares either. I hate. I hate you, Jax. <laughs> Handle jump scares that well. I want to see the face. <laughs> Look at that face, bro, Jax. You scared of the vacuum cleaner too? Now that. Okay, that could be technically a reference to both, both Ghostbusters and uh, Luigi's Mansion because they both use both use vacuums. Hey, be nice to her. She's had a rough couple of days. Uh. Has it been only a couple of days? Her and everyone else. Right? Her and everyone else. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> the classic eyes popping out of the skull, of course. I'm ghostly. Oh, you're cute. And I'll be your guide today. Why oh, boy. They go back in. <laughs> you have to retract them, you know. Don't you have a, what do they call it, a crank in the back of your head? <laughs> I remember my first wild take. I don't know why you're not retracting, though. That didn't happen for me. Ew. <laughs> okay, this is already kind of like... It's not gross in a gory way, but it's more gross and ill. This, the, just the eyeball connection and him trying to... Ugh. You have to choose which door you're gonna go through. Can I have a plushie of him? Okay, wait. All I know is I've seen there's like a plushie of some skeleton thing or whatever... Why is there no plushie of him? Unless they didn't animate. I need to check the store after this because th if they did not make merch of this little ghost boo character. What are you doing, Glitch? <laughs> the door on the right is a really scary door. Rated hot for mature. That cut off screen. Rated hot. Ah! <laughs> okay. Um, is it? Can you go in both? I'm really curious on what both are. Even though, okay, if I had to pick, I'd pick this. The ah! For Zubles only. It's up to you to do. No, Jax. Jax. What? I'm starting to sound like Ragatha. I thought we were supposed to capture all the ghosts. No. Uh, which door should we choose? 
Hmm, not that sure. Palm in the background? Let's try this out. Did you just throw her? I swear to God, Jax, if you just threw her a mask again. Hmm, not sure. Let's try this. Why do you keep taking her happy mask? I swear to What is that? That? I'm just gonna block it for me for now because I cannot look at that. That's actually legit creepy. Okay, we're good. Don't worry, Kangle, I'll get it for you. No, kill her! Oh, it's okay, you're attached to her eye to strengthen. Hell! Oh, I know. This pops her in exist. Yeah. Could you, you could end up really hurting Bubbles' feelings. Bubbles or yours? Bubbles feelings. <laughs> Zubal's like, are we talking about bubbles here or yours? Or is Zubal like, Bubbles has feelings? How about Bubbles feelings? How about your feelings? Oh my god, we're having a therapy I... session. So, what's on your mind, Zubal? I... I swear to god, I love, I, mm, if there's one thing I absolutely adore with Glitch is their animation and just how expressive and just the movements of the characters. In both Murder Jones and this series, it's just, oh, I love it, I love it. I love that they're like, they're just amping the quality, but at the same time, like, they're amping the quality, and I hope you guys can afford this. <laughs> like, don't do it just to make us happy. I'd rather, you know, I I'm completely fine with the animation being good, but then, like, don't put yourselves in a debt or something like that, which I'm going to hope they're not doing that. You just never remember because, oh, never mind. My Hmm. My mind is a beeswax polished coconut. Beeswax polished coconut. So it's hairy but slippery? Smooth? I I don't know what I, I was I thought he was gonna say it was uh what was it? An enigma. So what can I do to make my adventures more appealing? The eyelashes. To you. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, you know what? I'm actually surprised when he says, make them more appealing for you. I'm surprised his eyeballs didn't, like, peel. <laughs> You're probably not even listening. Zubal, look at this cool bee I drew. <laughs> what was that? That Was that her eyelash that, like, dropped? Cool bee I drew. What fell? Oh, her eye <laughs> I only noticed her, like, the eyelashes move, so I thought they, like, fell or something. So now the gang's all split up. Where are we? Ooh, what horrors are wait. Okay, we saw teaser images of these things. They look great. Oh, that's... No. <laughs> that's... No. <laughs> Not even I. That's and then just nothing. That's you know. <laughs> what is that thing? Maybe My not. Name is Baron Theodore Milton Hall. Oh, this is so like this reminds me of horror games where you always have like the tapes that you play or like whatever, and it, it, it's like the backstory of what's going on. Also, what the fudge is that monster on the paper that's doing a little, <laughs> like a little jig? <laughs> You know, I also kind of wonder if this is, this is this is not the creature's head and it just is has its head sticking through a hole in the wall to pretend and lure people in. Also, I gotta say, of all of the like head mounted versions of the characters, I would say probably Ragatha's is the creepiest. Like this creature aside, I think Ragatha's is the creepiest so f that I've seen. You know. I'm starting to think. Yeah. How and that thought's lost. Try to find a way back up to the others. What is it with you guys always, you know, like, at least Pomni, what is it with you always having to find a way up? Like, first it was... No, okay, the first episode, I don't think she ended up falling down, but, like, episode two with Gummy Goo and stuff, ending, like, falling down into, like, the framework or whatever it was. And then now they're, like, in the bottom of the mansion, like, 
is this gonna become a thing too, where she has to find her way up stairs? Oh, and it's a brick wall. Cool, that's great. I love these adventures. Huh. <laughs> She's gonna get so sick of doors. We could always ride this thing up. Nah, -uh. I don't like elevators enough as they are. I would not trust one in a horror adventure. I'll take the stairs. Oh wait, no, never mind. The stairs was literally a brick wall. And severed its head to keep as a prize on my wall. Oh, I see shotgun shell. Is this where we're gonna get Kinger with the shotgun? I took my eyes off the body for what felt like only a minute. What is with that spider? It's like it's moving at like two frames per second. Took my eyes off the body for what felt like a minute. And when I looked back, the body Those drawings. Was Wait, no! The creature was not dead. What's that drawing? On. Okay, so that's the creature you got, looks like, kind of reminds me of the abstracting with the eyeballs and everything. I cannot read that. Bothersome, I think. So this is bothersome? I don't know. Looked back, the body was gone. The oh, the body was gone. Oh, please don't tell me they're gonna look back in that room and the head's gonna be gone. Do not let the head out of your sight. You have oh, been you. What's the point of having that recording in a different room so they had to have taken their eyes off of the thing to even hear this recording, you stupid whoever you are? Well, this is some rather inconvenient lore placement. <laughs> exactly. I got it. <laughs> the 2D animation! And this is some rather inconvenient darkness. 2D animation! Ah, ah, what was that? Was that you? Is I'm loving the animation. Uh, that's really don't think that matter. Will you stop touching my eye? Oh yeah, sorry. Aye aye. Ah, what, what happened? I just remembered a really funny joke. Uh, you, you, why did you scream then? Maybe it wasn't actually that funny. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have more of these two? These two are actually really funny together. I can slowly make our way back into the trophy room. I swear, if another couple eyes or whatever appear, also. Is this the first time we're getting 2D animation from Glitch? Because this actually is not bad. Like, it actually looks good. What was that? What's what? The slow approaching sound. It's probably just magnets. Or a boat. What? A boat? In a Whatever mansion? Is, I think we should be completely quiet. I think you've already failed at that. I... Okay, yeah, I agree. You know, you're really... <laughs> like Kinger doing the frog. I swear to God, this frog bling thing is going because is showing up everywhere. Wait. I really want to smack my ear because I that did not sound like a fly. It sounded like a mosquito. And like not long ago, like maybe a month ago, you know, more like two or three months ago. Okay, so it's been a bit. I had to deal with mosquitoes in my room, and they would not go away. They st they were around for weeks, and I could not stand it. There's a fly in here. That's not a fly, it's a mosquito. And How are you able to see it? I think I got him. I can't see my hands. I'm sorry, could you speak up? I couldn't quite make that out. The fly, no! <laughs> the fly! Oh, do not, do not do the stupid horror trope of now I, I'm so shaky that I can't get the key into the door. Might be the creature from the tapes. You think? You look beautiful, honey. Honey? Oh, are we getting a hint to Kinger's wife that we saw on the door in the pilot? Got it. Kinger? Cause this boat is going oh. up. You mean? Oh yeah, up. Huh? Oh, never mind. Going down. She's going further. The slow descent. Any torment I inflict is one hundred percent accidental. Like and it and it creates development, <laughs> trauma. You and my brain won't tell me. Is it your brain or a part of your programming not allowing you? Hmm. Just forget it. Forget what? Kane. Oh my God! He already forgot what he needs to forget. <laughs> Nobody likes your stupid adventures. Ha <laughs> ha, good one, Zubal. Ragath I mean, we do, the viewers do, because we get to watch what happens to, the, to everyone. <laughs> yeah. She looks traumatized every time she comes back from one. 
It's like the Markiplier quote. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, it's traumatized. <laughs> oh, well, I'm good at. And, uh... That's what I was programmed to do. What you're saying could imply that I'm bad at the only thing I'm good at, and that... <laughs> you are shattering his coding! You are making him glitch out! Uh-oh. Zubal? That'd be... Uh-oh. Zubal? Zubal? You might uh, wanna... Whose therapy session is this again? <laughs> oh, yeah! But let's just say a lot of people could relate to that, where their whole... Universe is shattered like that. Oh God, where are we now? What next? I'm not sure. A seller of some kind. Oh, also a common thing you see in horror games and movies. Things have come to theoretical children needed. Jumping theoretical the children. Shadow. I ended up shooting the love of my life, mistaking her for the creature. It's ironic, isn't it? In my attempts to protect. Kinger's reaction here. Is he the one that put down his wife? Her. When she asked I, action? I will slay the beast that took everything from me. Uh. How's about we take his gun? Yeah, sounds good to me. <laughs> That's the most logical thing to do, just take the shotgun. Please don't come alive. <laughs> okay, I won't. <laughs> No, that was. <laughs> Pommy literally is all of us who have played a horror game. Or, yeah, mainly played a horror game where we go to take the item from us. Like, please don't come alive. <laughs> I swear to God, if that ever happened where the actual thing went, okay, it won't. It's like. <laughs> That's great. 10 out of 10 joke. Looks like we've got two shots. That's all it's going to take. Make them count. Go, badass Kinger, even though I feel like you're gonna either That wasn't what that tape said isn't like Foreshadowing him accidentally shooting someone else is it? Because I want to what I'm hoping is gonna happen is Kinger is gonna be so silly that instead of him shooting the gun He's gonna use it like to whack the monster Stay Oh, not a pipe Hi, oh, so you do have arms. You're not just a head flip. Please be cute. Please be actually. Oh, you're just missing your head. Kinger, I, I Shoot. Think we may have a Two shots. Wait. Two shots. One for the head. One for the body. Two. Hey, nice shot. Now get the head. Ah, he actually hit his shots. Well, nice. That wasn't so bad. They're not dead though, are they? That the creature was actually one of God's angels. What? And. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kinger's expression there. What? <laughs> Fly but stretched out eyeball. <laughs> Is what? And anyone who brings harm to it will be dragged down into the cold, spiraling pits of hell where my soul resides. What? I apologize, dear listener, but I need a living host in order to escape the hall of the damned, and your bodies will be my only means of doing so. That's a twist. Ghost. So this is the person I've seen the MD fandom relate to, like, make the comparison of Tessa, dead Tessa. Okay. I swear to God, if she has an Aussie accent. Mm. She better be British. Sorry again about your husband killing you and everything. Oh, she's the wife that the husband killed. Okay. You know how men are. Always having the silliest priorities. <laughs> is that Elsie? I feel like that's Elsie. <laughs> Don't I know it? <laughs> <laughs> Jack! That man could turn a 57 second story into a Greek tragedy. Into a Greek tragedy. Them next time I see him. Thanks again. Yeah, while they're being dragged into the pits of hell. Nice. Feel free to visit any time. Definitely. Jax! <laughs> Aren't you all gonna go looking for Congratulations, them? Congratulations, my little ironclad waffle cones. You've taken the pacifist route. The pacifist route. Oh my god, I could think it's Undertale. Hell! Of I need help from hell. Of course I Hall of the Damned? Oh. Sperm? 
sorry. I'm sorry. That's like, like <laughs> I just came to mind when I saw them. Like they're cool and they look like little wispy angels, but at the same time they look like with arms on the head. I'm. S I mean, come on. I can't be the only one that's thinking that. That's an adult. Let me try something. Your eye? Are you sure? Though I'm worried about what that tape said earlier. I'm just gonna try going fast. Finger with one eye is also interesting. He's like a, what do they call him? Cyclops? Yeah. Oh, oh, turning into twisted exorcist. Oh. What the fuck, <laughs> Kinger? Oh, is this where Kinger might have to? Oh no, he doesn't have any bullets. I'll say, is he got the shooter? Hey. She's wild. She's rabid. You know what? I'm taking it. I was not wrong. He used the gun to go and hit someone with it, but he also shot it. So kind of did both. Oh. Really, I'm in hell. Don't say. You're not in. Well, I, I guess we are. <laughs> right now. Forget about that. How about we just relax for a bit while nothing's chasing us? Kinger and Pomni bonding? You've been acting so different lately. <laughs> I have, haven't I? Not as crazy. I'm normally not too good with memories. But being surrounded by darkness always brings me back to a certain time. Right after my wife had abstracted. Aww. I don't recall the exact string of events, but she was calm enough to touch one last time before she got sent to the cellar. I used to hate bugs, but she somehow got me to like them. It's not the Aww. most cheerful memory, but it's one I at least have control over. Good memories can do a lot. Hold on to them. And cherish the people around you. This is deep. You never know when they'll be gone. Aww. Backstory. You know, he's so touching. You know, he said, the next breath you take down there will be your last. Maybe we can get through if we don't... Hold your breath. Hold your breath like the beginning of this episode. Oh, okay. Breathe. As long as you remember it, things will be okay. You're very strong, Pommy. And I know you'll be able to get through this. Just hold on to me. We'll get Aww. through it together. I don't want this version of King Ur to go. You ready? Also, why do I feel like each episode is going to be Pommy kind of helping each character or something like that? Or like having a bonding moment. And there go the colors. And he starts glowing! Well, she's only turned blue so far. Happened up here. Uh, don't worry about that. Pomni was very brave. Okay, I'm confused. How did Jax go from facing them to facing away? He's facing them right now, completely tur like turned don't to face them. About that. And now he's facing. Okay, a little bit of an animation continuity error there. Pomni was very brave. <laughs> Unless he like suddenly turned around in that split second. I haven't really been appreciative enough about that. Uh, oh, thank you, Pomni. Somebody actually appreciating it. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you remember to get my comedy mask? Uh. Sure. We totally got it. You got it right. Even <laughs> 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 Kinger says, like, oh my god, we've swapped roles now. <laughs> now it's Kane in the therapy chair while Zubal is a therapist. The Wild West was even a real direction at all. Whoopsie daisy, looks like every- The Wild West was an actual direction at all. Okay. Everybody, quick, pretend we weren't having a therapy session. Uh-huh. Okay. No! What was on that pad? I see like an anime drawing girl, or like a girl on there or something. Welcome back, my meowing milkmaids. Meowing milkmaids? Don't ever call us that again. Yeah, I agree. Oh, that's why he has a little pillow for because it reminds him of the time with his, his last moment with his wife. Aww. 
So what was it like being stuck with the nutcase? It wasn't so bad. Wasn't that bad, yeah. actually. Jax is like, really? Oh, I can't wait for Pommy to crack you open, crack up your, crack open your little bundle of Tremunchi, Tremunchi, Tremulus? Whatever shell that you got going on. Oh, they wait, they have a Kinger, it animates. I might actually want to get that. <laughs> yeah, the angel thing, get out of here with that. I, that thing does not deserve a plushie. I'm sorry, I want the blue, blue ghost thing. Did they seriously not make anything for that little ghost thing? It's so freaking cute. It, like, it was a brief little creature, like, brief mo- Like, what? Less than a minute? But it was so cute. Okay, well, let me get into my thoughts. Alright, well. That was definitely, I would say, the best episode of Digital Circuits for me, so far. Um, yeah, I... I, I would say horror wise, it was, it had its creepy moments, but it definitely wasn't like, it wasn't overall like a spine chilling episode or anything like that. If like, it had like moments of it, but it wasn't a theme throughout it. And that's because I, I think that's because we, we bounced between, uh, like we bounced between the mansion, uh, or the manor to then like Zubal and Kane, which was for the most part, funny. So it's kind of a bouncing between comedy and horror, then to touching. Like, that seemed to be the theme for this episode. You had, you had like, horror, comedy, and then, like, touching, like, sad moments. Um, like, Zubal talking about how, you know, she wants to, like, she doesn't feel, not complete, but, like, she is trying to find parts that match herself. Um, Kane realized, like, starting to have a breakdown where he's like, wait, if I'm doing horribly at the one thing I was pretty much created for, or it was my one purpose in life, like, he started freaking, like, breaking, like, glitching out with that. Um, you had the moment between Pomni and Kinger, which was very touching. Um, which was more, it was more touching from Kinger's side, because Kinger revealed, like, his past with his wife and stuff to, like, help Pomni calm down and stuff. And everything, which is, it's nice to see that because Pomni seems to be usually the one, like, Pomni gave the pep talk to Gummigoo, um, in the previous episode. Uh, whereas this time, Kinger gave her a talk to calm her down. Um, so I wouldn't say, because I, I, I've heard from some say that the horror elements were way better than Murder Drones did. <sighs> it's kind of hard. I feel like. There was more in, but granted, Murdrones also had nine, oh, not nine. <laughs> I wish we had nine episodes. Uh, I'll just say seven, or you know, I'll count eight, whatever. Um, we had eight episodes of like multi many moments of horror. Uh, so it's kind of hard to compare that to this single episode of Digital Circuits, which I don't think the horror is going to be. I I, sp I think it's supposed to be like a psychological th thriller or a psychological. I'm trying to remember what the tags were or the genre was for the series i think it was psychological comedy thriller or horror um so far it seems to be mainly psychological thriller because like the first episode didn't feel like really that much horror uh second episode not really much horror this episode now had horror um so i wouldn't say it necessarily did it better than murder drones because again i'm comparing a single episode of digital circus that horror versus murder drones that not every episode. Well, yeah, I would say, like, pretty much every episode had horror mo like a horror moment, um, or a scary moment. All right, yeah, a moment like that in it. Whereas it's just this is episode for Digital Circus, um, so it's really hard to compare. Uh, I think for the horror it did for this episode, it did well. Like, I like the comedy mixed in with it. Like, it literally was kind of like a joke. It felt like a mishmash of. Uh, Ghostbusters, Luigi's Mansion, and, um, like, your typically, like, indie horror game where, oh, you found a tape, and you listen to the tape, uh, like, they poke fun at, you know, that's a, that's a weird, like, a, what an inconvenient place to put lore, you know, don't take your eyes off of the monster, even though this is, this lore 
this tape is in a room that makes us have to take our eyes off of the monster. Um, then you have the, uh, like, Pomni saying that there's a joke with Pomni where she's like, please don't move it. It's like, okay, then I won't. It's like, <laughs> it, it, it felt more like an homage to that genre of horror, like, video games, and I like that. Um, but yeah, I definitely wasn't expecting the Kinger background. Uh, like, the Kinger, uh, wife background. I wasn't expecting that. I didn't think we were gonna get that. Uh, yet, at least. Um, cause I, like, we knew from the pilot, cause, uh, there was the door that had, like, the, the photo of another chess piece, but it had the queen symbol on it. And it obviously, I think it had been crossed out, so she had abstracted, so the immediate thought most of the fandom had was, oh, that was most likely Kinger's wife, cause he's got the, he's the king. And she was the queen. Um, but we weren't sure if she was ever going to be brought up. So I'm not surprised she was brought up. Because I feel like Goose pretty much has this series plan um, from the pilot. That something like that major where you, you hint to a character like that. A background character like that at least. And for the, that it would be weird for her not to be brought up. At least as a mention. I'm not expecting like what we got in this episode. Which was actually... Uh, like, her having abstracted and stuff. I thought we were just gonna get, like, a mention from Kinger, or, like, oh, my wife, you know, I lost my wife, you know, or my wife was here with me, kind of thing. So it went, it went further than what I thought, and I'm happy for it, because it's more character development. Um, you know, that's what I, I'm really hoping the series excels in. Um, is, like, murder drones. I absolutely adore it. Still my favorite, uh, still my favorite, in the animated series uh by glitch um but the character development and stuff was definitely lacking for me um very much so so i was really hoping that goose with digital circus was gonna give us development and have really good writing um and that seems to be the case like stuff seems to be kind of tying in stuff like from previous episodes that are hinting now um you know like them you know king or you just think he's insane like you know he, that's what he thought, but then actually when he, like, interesting, like, I wonder if it's, is it because of where they were that he calmed down enough to be, like, the way he was? Or is it Kane making him crazy, like, a personality, like, giving him that personality that's making him crazy and forget stuff? Or is it that, <sighs> actually, did Kinger mention that he, when they go back to the circus, he goes crazy on purpose so he doesn't remember the things that happened? I, I honestly don't remember. Um, but... Yeah, it's just, thank you, Goose. Thank you for giving us character development and uh, depth and everything. Because, you know, I want to feel stuff for these characters. Like, I, I, I'm i completely fine with the series being like, you know, each episode is like episodic. And then, you know, it's just zany, wacky, goofy stuff going on. But it's obvious Goose is trying to tell something that's both that as well as more deeper and more psychological and more like, Oh, you know, Zubel's dealing with her things. Jax, obviously, is his stuff going on. Um, Gangle, you know, having both the tragedy and comedy mask. You know, two sides of a person. Like, she's fighting between the two sides. So she's got her own thing going on. You know, Kinger was crazy, but actually now we know why. Um, Kane's got his stuff. Like, Kane's gonna have something going on where he's... Most likely, because I... If I remember correctly from the pilot, he's not a human that's been sucked into or trapped into this this game or this whatever it is program he's a part of the program so i could see this <laughs> i swear to god if the final episode is where it's like kane having to go say goodbye to everyone like the digital circus is collapsing or something like that or shutting down or glitching out and like kane in his last act i bet you he's gonna say something like you guys go on your last adventure or something or i'm gonna send you on your last adventure and it's gonna be him releasing them or setting them free while his whole thing collapses. I swear to God. <laughs> I feel like this final episode of Digital Circus is gonna get me to cry. And not for the same reason that Murder Jones episode 8 did. Or Murder Jones finale did. Murder Jones finale made me cry because I was upset and everything and disappointed. I feel like Digital Circus finale is gonna make me cry because I'm gonna be sad to see it, like, it ending. <laughs> like, it's gonna be like tragic or something like that. Or it's gonna be... Yeah. Oh, God. I guess they were... Goose could take this. Um, 
but yeah, overall, um, plot for this episode was great. Characters were great. Animation was great. Got it. You know, glitch. I swear, if you guys bump up the quality any further, I don't know how you can, because this already feels like I don't know a movie quality to me. Uh, like it, it, it astounds me that this is a free series on YouTube. Um, but yeah, animation was great. Uh, music, I think was I would say good to great because I did notice it mainly like um like the chorus when Kinger and Pommy were trying to get into the elevator. Um, or the dumb waiter, technically. Um, and then there was the, uh, the music. I think it was when, when Kinger was talking about his wife. Um, so yeah, I would say the music was good to great in this episode. Um, not as memorable as, not as memorable as the pilot was. Like, I always, whatever I think of the music for Digital Circus, other than, like, the opening and the ending theme, um, I think of the moment when that app, the... The Kofmo, uh, abstracted Kofmo was chasing after Pomni and it was like the chorus and everything. Like, I, that one stood out to me. Whereas this one didn't really have any moments that stood out to me for music, but they, it was still good. So that's why I, I would say give it a good to great rating. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm looking forward to the next episode of Digital Circus. They're coming out with these moderately fast this, uh, compared to Murder Drones, but that's to be expected when their team has doubled since Murder Drones started. Uh, so, or at least since Murder Drones was halfway finished, um, so that doesn't surprise me, so I'm happy if we get, like, an episode every three to four months, uh, that's definitely way better improvement, um, but, yeah, anyway, those are my thoughts for this episode, I hope you enjoy this reaction, have a wonderful morning, after night, and keep burning, br burning, <laughs> keep burning bright, see ya!